What's up everybody, welcome to money management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on PLTR stock. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news and I will show you some signs uh, that uh, this asset uh, might be very lucrative in the medium and long term perspective. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next in near-term perspective. So, and let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, at this point, uh, in the middle of February. And uh, I told you that because of uh, this uh, huge spike in price, uh, this asset broke uh, its uh, couple of uh, previous swing highs. And uh, uh, if you take a look right here on the RSI, uh, you can see that it was a bearish divergence and it was on uh, multiple time frames. And my main assumption was that uh, we might see some consolidation phase that might hit slightly higher targets uh, at around uh, $25 mark and then we have to have a retracement. And as you can see this asset acted exactly as I predicted. It went lower and then it retested the range of resistance that I drew back in the days uh, Guys, I have to say that I didn't uh, draw any new lines at all in between all of my videos. And if you take a look right here, you can see that uh, $27.6 is the range of resistance that uh, this asset uh, hit back uh, in uh, mid of March of 2021. Then it hit it right here in the uh, end of June of 2021 and it hit it right here uh, in uh, at the very beginning of November of uh, 2021. And for now, as you can see, we have a perfect touch of this uh, range of resistance again, and we have this movement to the downside. And guys, I have to say that uh, this structure is also quite impressive. In just several minutes in my technical analysis, uh, I will show you my entire breakdown on this asset on a slightly bigger scale. And I will show you the levels uh, where we might land in upcoming weeks in order to add to our long position. And guys, if you want to know more about technical analysis, if you want to enhance your trading skills, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel or to join my Patreon account, uh, where for the $35 a month uh, you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, for the first 100 subscribers I will do a giveaway. I will do a technical analysis uh, based on your request on any asset that you might find. On top of that, guys, and it is the most lucrative part uh, of uh, this uh, offer uh, for now there is not so many people inside the community that is why almost 100 percent of my time will be dedicated to you this means uh, it is pretty much one-on-one -on -one training for 450 dollars a month but for the fraction of uh, this uh, cost uh, for just 35 dollars a month so i think it is quite fair deal so, and let's continue with the fundamental news. If you take a look uh, on uh, the most recent news in regards to Palantir stock, you will not find a lot of uh, uh, bullish news, uh, but I have to admit that if you take a look on the uh, list of analytic firms who made uh, their uh, forecast for this asset, you can see that, for example, consensus analyst price target according to marketbit.com is $18.35 which implies 16.11% uh, of downside potential. And if you take a look right here, you can see that uh, the most recent updates uh, are not so bullish. Uh, for example, Monos, Crespi and Hart uh, uh, set their price target at $20 mark, which is still about 18.37% of downside potential. We have a uh, completely similar uh, picture of the uh, tip ranks, but guys, you have to dig deeper inside uh, the fundamentals of the company. And I have to say that I found uh, an amazing person. His name is Arnie Trezzi. And uh, his Twitter account uh, is Arnie underscore Trezzi. And uh, he made a summary, visual summary of uh, its uh, Q4 earnings report. And I want to pay your attention on just several uh, pictures. Uh, as you can see, this uh, summary has 12 pages. But let me show you their revenue growth. And uh, I, as you can see, we have uh, two parts of this revenue, commercial part and government part. And uh, all of these parts uh, are growing together. And uh, as you can see in uh, Q4 of 2023, they had uh, $608 million of revenue. And uh, they have consistent growth. Next uh, slide is new clients. Uh, 
Xbox. And here you can see that the highest number of clients they achieved again in Q4 of 2023, and it is a 45 new clients. And next one, total number of clients uh, from different sectors, US commercial and international commercial. And we also can see a consistent growth in this uh, parameter. Next one, revenue growth in million dollars. Again, consistent growth. Net dollar retention. This is the only slide that I have uh, some doubts uh, about the conclusion because we cannot uh, conclude that uh, 107 uh, in Q3 of 2023 and then 108 percent growth in q4 of 2023 might establish a new trend to the upside we have to have more data in order to make this conclusion and in general guys uh, all of these charts show us that uh, this uh, company is quite lucrative and uh, if you take a look on the smart money list and first of all if you take a look for example on kathysarka.com website which tracks the activity of uh, Kathy Wood's uh, ARK Invest Funds, you can see that uh, her fund uh, consistently buying Palantir stock uh, from uh, the uh, March, May of uh, 2023. And if you take a look right here, uh, first of all, I want to pay your attention uh, uh, to this chart. It is uh, Palantir Technologies Institutional Ownership. And for now, uh, we have the highest level of institutional investors who invested their money in uh, Palantir ever. And this is a very good sign. On top of that, the latest sentiment is also quite bullish. Uh, green rows indicate uh, new positions, red rows indicate closed positions. And we have much more green rows than the red ones. And if you take a look uh, on the major investors uh, who pretty much hold the entire economy, the entire US economy, and it is uh, for example, Vanguard Fund, you can see, let me show you right here, that on uh, April the 1st, uh, they added 6.39% uh, to their position uh, to this fund. And uh, they have they hold for now $17.6 million in value in Palantir. But it is only one fund. Uh, another one, as you can see, they hold uh, almost uh, half a billion dollars uh, in uh, Palantir. And uh, other branches of Vanguard uh, are adding to their position uh, heavily. On top of that, if you try to find uh, Fidelity, you can also see that. Uh, uh, let me show you the most recent, uh, the most recent uh, updates. Uh, so Fidelity, uh, different uh, funds from Fidelity on March 27 added to their position as well. And this information shows you that uh, the sentiment among so-called smart money list is quite bullish, and that is why, guys. Uh, uh, this asset, in my opinion, is extremely lucrative in the medium and long term perspective. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So, guys, let me zoom out and let me show you its movement from uh, the end of December of 2022. We completed five wave structure to the upside and we completed this retracement. And uh, because of this completed structure, we can pull the FIB retracement tool from the bottom of the entire uh, structure to the top. And uh, what do we have right here? We hit exactly 0.382. And uh, we had about 35% uh, probability to see the trend reversal out of this range. And it happened. On top of that, guys, let me show you that... Uh, uh, potentially, this might be only the first wave uh, to the upside, this is the second, and we are forming only the first wave uh, of the third wave, of the strongest wave for this asset, and uh, this means uh, we are about to see the next breakout to the upside that will happen uh, within the next several months. But take a look on its previous price action. If my assumption is correct, uh, we potentially might have this as our first wave, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And uh, if it is the case, it is only the first wave on a slightly smaller scale of a big wave. And uh, in this case, we have to pull fiber retracement tool from this bottom to this top. And guys, what do we have right here? We have, uh, we just hit the 0.5 level and it is the first level where ALGA trades uh, started to add to their position. And we have strong confluence uh, right here at around $20 mark with my ranges of support slash resistance and it is a golden pocket range. Statistically, it is the most probable range of trend reversal. 
And if this asset uh, hit this level, we have about 70 to 75% probability to hit higher targets. And this uh, means uh, that we are about to see its major trends reversal. And if you want to be a part of for this movement to the upside, you can accumulate your position from uh, 21, from basically current uh, price uh, to the, uh, let's say, $19.8 mark with the stop loss uh, at around uh, $18.2. Because if it hits uh, uh, quite low ranges, uh, we don't have uh, more than uh, 30, 25 to 30% uh, probability to have a trend reversal out of uh, 0 0.786 levels. And guys, uh, if the trend reversal happens, I will do another update uh, and I will show you what price targets do we have. Because we have to see the uh, third point of control from which we might uh, make a projection. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the